Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Yes, it's Saturday for me and wow, I am sitting back on my couch. Isn't that amazing? Well, I was not planning on, yeah, start the video here today. However, this morning I woke up and I felt a bit, ugh. So I was going out for grocery shopping with my landlord and it was already very very hard for me to just do basic shopping uh, shopping like without um what do you call it without falling basically because i just felt so weak and i was so happy after the car ride just to be back in my apartment and yeah so today is a very very lazy day i have done some of my chores like clean the dishes from the last days and also yeah some kitchen cleaning but definitely not as much as I was well thinking of um, but yeah so that's why I'm basically chilling right here now with a blanket on my couch watching a lot of YouTube I think I should have watched more Swedish content it is actually not very um, smart of me to watch still so much German content like i think that is actually a disadvantage but i have not found any good swedish youtube channel that i want to watch because i always i don't like watching movies because they take a lot of time from me from the beginning because i i hate stopping in between movies and if i should watch a series it's it's may, maybe smarter because like a uh, episode is shorter than a whole movie but I then still have to stop in the story. So YouTube videos are a bit shorter, like 20, 30 minutes. And it's the end if the video ends. So if you know any cool Swedish people, let me know. I think I have found one that makes yeah, some kind of, um, I don't want to say documentaries, but like um, a day with the richest guy or so in Sweden and something like this or like today I will do the worst job in Sweden to the most valuable something like that there was a guy I forgot his name I, I have watched a video from him but it's already like three months ago or something like this yeah but I will definitely I think I will watch some of that right now I've also made some tea just to to drink something nice However, like I, I don't feel sick in any like cold um, way. Like I don't have any symptoms of coughing, sneezing, whatever. I just feel ugh, very, very um, dröt, how you would say in Swedish. So like my body is very tired. I don't even know why. <laughs> Maybe it's just now the relief of all the stress that's coming down. But I actually think that I will not do any risky things tomorrow, like run around outside. Because Monday, if I go to um or like not if, when I will go to Umeå, I need to have the strength to make it there and make it back. Because, you know, I'm running out of time, so I have to do this thing. So it's good to at least get some rest over the week. However, and that is now where we come to a point, I still have something planned for today. So in about four hours, I will be watching the Melody Festivalen semi-final number four. And it is actually the one that I'm looking forward to the most because of Dotter, my favorite singer in Sweden. And so I just thought like, why don't I just film myself and show you some kind of reaction when I will be listening to the songs for the first time. So I already know some of the songs or like parts of it snippets because um, the Swedish television channel just published like 30 seconds of a rehearsal and a minute of each song so yeah I know between one minute and one minute and 30 seconds of some of the songs and I'm looking forward to see the whole thing so I already know the lyrics basically for the daughter song and for another one it's going to be amazing so yeah you will definitely be part of this. Yeah, and besides that, I think that's it. So we will see each other back in a few hours. Okay, guys, it is now time 
to watch the fourth semi-final of the Melodien Festivalen and I'm so excited. I, oh yeah, because it's running now, I think I should already be able to vote on the Melo Festivalen app. So yeah, let's see if it already works. But like I said, for me it's definitely Dotter. And the other one is most likely um, Tretik Karl Hall. Uh, from Lia Laschen. Oh yeah, first the intro. This intro from Melody Festival is so good. This is basically like when you have this Disney intro with the castle. Awesome. Okay, I think here we go. I have already yeah, decided to give Dotter basically all my five votes I can give on the app because I just want to see her in the final. Because she's awesome no matter how her song is going to be <laughs> and the other things I will still think about so maybe Dread the Calm Hall from Lia Lashon um, or Circus X from Scarlet one of the other ones um, yeah one of those two that I just mentioned are my other favorites but yeah let's see how it goes Okay, let's see how Albin Tingval is going to do. Ah, huh, okay, so actually I think the song is not bad. I think it is actually very, yeah. A very good radio song can also be a bit like summer feeling, you know, and you feel it in a certain way, but it's definitely not that that awesome thing that keeps me too much moving. Of course I was like a bit feeling it, but I don't know. So the next the next song is Tretti Korm Ho. So I'm really really looking forward. The great thing about this song Tretti Korm Ho that I was not getting in the beginning until I read the lyrics was Tretti Korm Ho, so 30 um, kilometers per hour is basically the limit for the EPA cars with the red triangle that I was already talking in um, yeah, one of the former videos. So this is basically another song hyping this Swedish thing and it's just awesome. I, I think it's so weird but it's funny in a certain way. So I'm looking forward to listen to the song. I'm looking forward. Dum dum dum, get ready to go, Emma. Oh, we strike out, get the new the number blow. Well. I really really love this song because it's it's stupid in a good way. It's definitely in my opinion not the song that should represent Sweden for the Eurovision Song Contest, but it's a really good party song and like or driving along with friends doing a road trip, perfect. So I love it. Definitely going straight to my Spotify playlist. However, not the thing that I am imagining at the main stage in Malmö in May. However, still I hope it would make it to the final. So let's see how it goes. And now next is Dotter. Dotter is definitely giving me the, the Loreen vibes with her clothing this time. Okay, now we, here we go. Here we go. It is definitely something different. <sighs> okay, that was Daughter, and oh, it's really, really hard to tell. Wait, I have to grab you guys. It's really hard for me to tell because I was definitely expecting more of this very strong um, musical part sections that were already released. 
um, and as snippets over the last days. The quiet part, so especially in the beginning and also close to the end, I don't know. Like, I like the song. It also goes to my Spotify playlist, of course. But I really don't think this is what makes a winner at Melody Festival in 2024, unfortunately. I really don't know if she can even make it to the final. Like, I'm actually a bit scared. Of course, I have voted for her because, because she is, for me, the favorite of this whole thing. But I don't know. I really don't know. So let's see how the voting will go in the end. We still have three other competitors, of course. So, but it's going to be interesting who is going to make it to the final. Yeah. A lot of people have written this song, Scarlet from Circus X. Let's go. Whoa! Did not expect this ending. So first of all, sorry, the the girls were called Scarlet and the song was Circus, Circus X. I mixed it up. Um, but this ending was definitely something, yeah, I was not expecting. So I also think this is definitely worth to make it to the final. However, I think if it makes it to the to the Eurovision Song Contest, I think it would be placed somewhere in the middle, like place number 11, 12-ish. So nothing to win one more time. Yeah, but now we have a song upcoming, which is definitely the worst one in my opinion, but just because it's not my type of music. Like it's somewhat of a country song. And I think like those songs have a certain flair like when you are in america going on a road trip through texas or whatever but not for the eurovision song contest so yeah but let's see how it goes lost the stefans Nay, definitely not my type of music. Like a lot of people in the crowd, I see they enjoy it. So I think this song is going to be very high in the voting for the older people. Because, you know, like the voting system is based on age. So it, yeah, it's, it will be interesting to see when they give the voting at the end. But I don't think they will make it to the final. Danny Sosido. He seems to be very famous from the Melody Festival, and so let's see how he, do, uh, how he does. However, I was not the biggest fan. Okay, last song of the night. Mm. The people love him, the crowd goes wild, but I really think the song it feels a bit outdated like it feels a bit like it feels a bit like 2010 not like 2024 so uh, I don't know like I think it's going to make it to the final but it's definitely not what I was yeah what I would be voting for okay so let's make a short summary what I think is going to make it to the final I also have already opened the odds that of course change when the songs have been performed. Well, I think um, that the Danny guy that was performing last is definitely going to make it to the final. And I think it's going to be Circus X to be honest. I really think Daughter is not going to make it to the final this time. Which is actually a bit sad. <laughs> because it's her fourth time 
going to mellow. And yeah, she was once very, very close to go to the uh, Eurovision Song Contest, got second, then there was COVID, so it was cancelled anyways. But yeah, she never made it. Well, let's see how the real results are going to look like. The odds also tell that daughter might not make it to the final. Okay, it's time to see who is the first one who makes it to the final. Here, basically, we don't see any voting. It's just the person who got most of it instantly winning. Let's see. I think it's going to be Danny. Like I said, this was obviously, but uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Still, congratulations, though, of course, but not my pick. And now it's, it's, oh my God, this means the second person goes through the whole voting thing. So it's actually going to be. Very interesting, let's say it like that. Oh. Okay, it's time for the voting. Okay, the three to nine year olds voted for Lia Larsen, so Tretti Korm Ha. Good one. And Dada only got eight points. Mm. 30 to 44 years old. Scarlet, like I predict. Daughter, however, got also 10, so yeah, very close. Now the telephone voting. Va? Okay, the country guys won the telephone voting, so maybe a lot of old people, I don't know. Oh, the 75 plus, definitely they will vote for Lasse Stevens. Va? Okay, did not expect it. It went to Alvin Tingval. But Dotter is now in the lead, one point above um, Scarlett. Okay, 45 to 59 year old. Voted for Dotter. That's good. That is a good lead for Dotter. However, Scarlett still second place. Only three points different between Scarlett and Dotter. Okay, now my group, 16 to 29. What did the average vote for? I think it's going to be Lia Larsen in my group. No, daughter. Okay, daughter. Very good. So two groups left. 10 to 15 now. Daughter. Okay, I think daughter won. I think, or oh, won. You know, like, I think she cannot lose this anymore. Scarlett only got five points. However, oh, Lia Larsen is not even in the um, second chance semi-final anymore. 60, 74 year old, the last group. Okay, but I think daughter made it. Yeah, another one for daughter. So daughter made it. Aww. Her sambo, I, I think it's her sambo, so her, her boyfriend. Um, yeah, is there for her mental support basically. And they wrote the song together. And now we have another performance of daughter, like doing the song again. And that's basically the end for the Meadow Festival. So Danny and daughter made it to the final. Yeah, did not expect daughter to make it. However, I think she made it because she's a huge name in the Melody Festival. And so, but she has to improve for the final to make it to the Eurovision Song Contest. I don't think it's going to happen though. But now let's enjoy the song once more. And that is the end of the Melody Festival and semi final number four. Daughter and Danny advanced to the finals. Ah, wow. Well, I'm really, really interested what or how far Daughter is going to make it in the finals. Because I don't think she will, unfortunately, reach it because next week in the last semi-final 
we have Marcus and Martinez, which are also very famous. And they are currently in the arts number one without even the people knowing their songs. So it's like, it's their name, basically, that people are expecting to, yeah, go wild on. And it's definitely going to be an interesting final in, I think it's the 9th of March, is it? Or the 8th? Something like that. I think it's the 9th. But then we will see who made it, yeah, for Sweden. And till then, it's still, yeah, two weeks from now. But I'm looking forward to that. So with that said, that was my kind of reaction to the Eurovision Song Contest um, show from Sweden. Sorry, I had a short brain lag. Yeah, that was the show from Sweden. See you in tomorrow's video. Have a good one. Bye bye.